Hello there, it's I, the Geordie Nerd, and I'm back again with another episode of The Good Place, Season 3, Episode 5. I'm talking too fast. Um, <laughs> if you'd like to see the full unedited reaction, the link is down below for the Patreon. And all my social media links. Come watch me stream some video games. Um, exciting times. Probably, I mean, it's not. I just play video games and chat to people. But if that's something you're interested in, you want to come hang out, link will be down below, probably. Let's just get this now and have some fun. What the hell is that? Oh, hey, guys. What are you doing down here? Oh, we came to get more champagne, which is right behind the magic door. You saw nothing. Nothing. Right? You're forgetting one crucial piece of information that'll save us. Yo, buddy, you have like three seconds to explain this crazy space door or Cheaty here is gonna beat you up. Oh. Well, I don't think Cheaty's gonna beat you up. Eleanor might beat you up. Um, so explanation. You're all on drugs. My name is Special Agent Rick Justice and this is Lisa Frenchie Fuqua <laughs> with the FBI. <laughs> and all of you are in grave danger. Makes perfect sense, I believe him. Frenchie's nickname is Janet. I thought her nickname was Frenchie. It is. That's why they call her Lisa, double nickname mm -hmm. Fuqua. Okay. Makes perfect sense. I'm believing all of this. I am, I am sold. What? It might work. <laughs> we kill them, go back through the door, somehow grab them before they get to the bad place. Smart. Smart, Michael. I'm sure I'm, well, you're already in the bad place. I was going to say, I'm sure I'm mad I will put you down in the bad place. But you're screwed either way. So either way, you're screwed. As soon as you learned about the afterlife, your motivation to be good was corrupted. So you can't earn points anymore. So sorry for eternally dooming you. And that's our bad guys. <laughs> so the attempts you made to torture us. We must have been in the afterlife for... A hundred years. Almost 300, actually. Well, there was a lot of resets, yes. One thing happens, then the next, then the next. Time in the afterlife moves in a Jeremy Baramy. What? In the afterlife, time doubles back and loops around and ends up looking something like Jeremy Baramy. <laughs> this is the timeline in the afterlife. But I'm not gonna lie, I thought he was talking about someone that would previously met and I just fucking forgot and I was like, Jeremy Parrott, who, who this? <laughs> and also July. And sometimes it's never. That's true. Occasionally that moment on the Bear Me timeline is the time moment when nothing never occurs. So, you get it. This broke me, uh, the dot over the eye. That broke me. I'm... I'm done. You know... He's got the worst stomach ache he's ever gonna get now. Over a dot. Over an eye. See you in hell. You know what I just realized? I always say that when leaving a room. But right now, it's accurate. <laughs> I will literally <laughs> see all of you in hell. Not Yay! What if I see you first? Let's go, Jason. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Yay! Oh. Excuse me, miss. I'm touching. Myself. He's like to buy one opera. Well, please. thank you, uh. <laughs> Dadpool3000, for following as I am watching a reaction video. I didn't know it did that. So, yeah. Thanks, Dadpool3000. Why don't you want your name on the Opera House? I love getting my name on stuff. In Jacksonville, I got a flu virus named after me because I kissed a bat on a dare. But I was thinking about my. <laughs> Oh, is this the guy who started COVID? God remains dead and we have killed him. Who will wipe this blood off us? What festivals of atonement, what sacred games shall we have to invent? I just think he was offering you some drugs, my dude. Holy fuck! Sorry, Jason. Oh, wow. Where have you been keeping that under that sweater vest? Of course, I would love to bring some rando his mail. Anything else you want me to schlep over? 
<laughs> oh, this awesome, awesome, Oh, I, I believe that was a rhetorical question. Oh, well, I had sarcasm, but still. Here's five thousand dollars for a new stroller. Have a nice day. You don't have to say the "are you poor" part. Right. Hello. Here's some money. Here you go. Hello. Here you go. Now you can buy a bigger chin guitar. <laughs> I've got one back here, I'll trade you for the money. I've got two. You can't have the electric one, it was a gift. Man, there's so many times that just this amount of money would have changed my life. I could have paid my rent. I could have gone to a real doctor instead of pretending I was a big dog so I could go to the vet. <laughs> oh shit, I could just imagine that. Odd. To transfer the totality of your account, 131 million British pounds, to the account of this person. A man who is so flagrantly ignoring the one lollipop per customer <laughs> rule. No, I walked out and back in each time, so I'm different customers. Wait. Smart Jason. He's goosing the system. I like it. Dude, I didn't take your money. I would never even think of doing that. No, no, no. I'm not worried about that. Ah, here it is. I started a new job a few months ago and I got really nervous. So my daughter Carolyn drew this for me to make me feel better. Oh, it's my good luck charm. Every time I'm stressed at work now, I just have to look at this and I feel you know, safe. Not even crying. There's not even a tear in my eyes. That's not lovely. <clears throat> it's the worst. I really hope my daughter turns out like you when she grows up. <laughs> You were right? No, you shut up. <laughs> Sorry. It's been a weird day. <laughs> oh, fuck it. <hell. laughs> I'm such a sap. The peeps in the chili pot and add the M&Ms. You put the peeps in the chili pot and makes it taste bad. Oh, I want to take that lesson. Is everything okay? Other than, you know, everything? We've started to except our fates. It's all chilly under the bridge. Oh, good, you're all here. Big news, everyone. We, we got, got tacos. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, we got married. And then after we got married, we got tacos. Wow, wow indeed. I've never had tacos. What are they like? We can try. Try what? Try to do good. That stupid little voice in my head told me to do something good today and it was so annoying, but it also made a dork and his very untalented daughter super happy. Me trying just a little <laughs> bit. Oh, Eleanor, come on. I'm gonna remember this day forever because of your dope speech and also because of the great tacos I had and also because I got married and I found out I was going to hell and also I became a hundred million. All right, we get it, we get it. It goes without saying that we're in. Let's say it anyway. We're in, we're, we're in. in. All right, you go. We're, we're in. in. <laughs> I mean, I like that they're going to help other people, but by doing that, it's obviously going to get them into the good place. But that is, that is very nice. I was just on my way to the MRI lab. Thought I heard your voice. Ready to go to the airport? Start our lives together? Go ahead, Tahani. We're rolling. Sorry, better looking version of me. It's not happening. Wow, this was a very funny episode. That was that was friggin' hilarious. I enjoyed that a lot. Um, I cannot wait to see where they go. Every episode, it's like, I, I don't expect it to be what it is. And that was just fantastic. So, um, yeah, cheaty. Che cheaty, though. Cheaty, though. Damn. Like, I've been losing weight and lifted some weights and stuff, but... I'm never gonna look like that, Christ! Where was he hiding? Well, under the sweat. I did that joke, didn't I? Yeah, uh, it was really good. I really enjoyed this episode. Um, and thank you to Dadpool3000 for subscribing, uh, for following us over on Twitch. Um, yeah, if you'd like to see your name pop up, just wait until I'm making a video. You won't know when it is, but it could be any time, so just do it now! Uh, <laughs> thank you very much for coming out to watch this. I do appreciate it, and I will see you all again very soon for more The Good Place reaction videos.